Hey, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. I really do hope that, man. Welcome back to Chelsea News, your daily series where yours truly goes across what's happening in the headlines regarding Chelsea Football Club. I present it to you guys in this series and let you know what I think and then offer an offer? No. And then ask for your opinions and see what you guys think of the stories. And today we got three big ones, man. Three big old news stories. Matt Law of The Telegraph is reporting on Nicola Taglifico of Ajax. Apparently they've set a fee for him, a price, a quote for the transfer of the 27 year old left back and it looks rather reasonable. Big story that one, we're gonna crack into that. 29 year old Swiss goalkeeper Roman Berkey of Dortmund only has one year left on his contract. The 29 year old is a very good shot stopper and apparently Chelsea are interested. Oh, is Kepa not safe yet? We'll have to see. I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on that. And also, this one is a little bit silly, but it is all around the rags, originating from the mirror that apparently Timo Werner to Liverpool is off. Apparently, Liverpool outright refused to pay the uh, buyout clause of Timo Werner, which is about £50 million, and they won't go higher than £30 million, which is mental, if true, of course. But it could be true because everyone's in financial disarray. Maybe they just don't want to spend any money. Lots of massive stories to get into today, man. So before we crack into it, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, Football Therapy. If you've not already done so, of course, only if you want to, man. But if you do want to, hit that bell notifications icon and why not drop a like on this video. Let's crank this bad boy up. All right, let's get into it. You know what, man? Let's just start on Timo Werner, the Germanic marksman playing out in the Bundesliga for Leipzig. We all know Timo Werner is an absolute... I don't want to use any more crazy hyperbole. Good striker. Well, really, he's kind of like a wide forward. He often occupies that left-hand flank, moving inside, running on the shoulder. Very, very good striker indeed. Relatively young, early mid-20s. Great, great player. His bar clause is around £50 million, which still, generally, for the calibre of player, even in this sort of crumbled financial market, is a good deal, man. We all know Timo Werner wants to go to Liverpool. Apparently, his representatives have been talking to them. Uh, Raphael Honigstein, the um, German uh, journalist, football journalist, has often spoken about this. Uh, I think the likes of David Ornstein as well. They've all explained how he wants Liverpool. He really wants Liverpool. He spoke to Klopp not too long ago. He's basically discussed with him. They all want the deal to happen. But apparently the news today is Liverpool will not pay the buyout clause. And furthermore, the deal is apparently entirely dead. I mean, 30 million, bro. Come on. For Timo Werner, you won't go higher than 30 million. To be honest, I think it was Matt Law also who reported who we're going to be talking about in a bit. He also reported how the majority of football clubs are not going to be able to spend this transfer window. And really, it's only Manchester United and Chelsea Football Club who are in the most lucrative position to do any significant transfer business. So, if that's true, then Liverpool might be limited to £30 million for this transfer. I can't say for certain, but that's what the news stories are saying today. So apparently, the deal is off. They don't, don't want to go over 30 million. Leipzig are like, well, you need to pay 50 million, bro. This guy's worth loads of money, you know? So where does that leave us? Is Chelsea able to sign Timo Werner? <laughs> Probably not. The truth is, if Chelsea went with a full buyout clause money, to Leipzig and said, here's 50 million, man. Can we have him? They'd probably go, yeah, you paid it, take him. Thing is, I don't think Werner would want to come to Chelsea. I think he's flattered by all the Premier League interest, but I think he's happy to stay in the Bundesliga for another season while he rates for Liverpool or maybe like, I don't know, a um, Real Madrid or something. But the thing is with Timo Werner's contract, the buyout clause gets less and less every year. So come next season, if he's had another excellent season in Germany, there will be less money to buy him. Liverpool might come in and then and buy him. He will still probably want to go to Liverpool because he loves Klopp. <laughs> That's that. Anyway, enough of Timo Werner. Let's move on to the next story. More Chelsea related, of course. Let's save Roman Berkey for the end because I find that a rather interesting story. Let's talk about Nicola Tagliafico. Matt Law of the Telegraph did report that the price is set. The price tag, the quote for the left back, the 27 year old who plays for Ajax, and it is 22.4 million pounds. 
off the bat, that's a pretty promising sign. Chelsea aren't going to spend loads and loads of money. The same report talks about how Ben Chilwell is going to cost a lot of money. Chelsea were, of course, interested in Alex Tellej as a more affordable option, but talks with Porto have sort of stagnated a little bit as Paris Saint-Germain joined the conversation. Tagliafico is a very good player and would offer that similar amount of seniority on the back line. He's got a very good engine like Reese James, does contribute to a few goal involvements, but also, and rather probably more importantly, his defensive numbers are very good. This season in the Eredivisie, Tagliafico has been registering 4.2 tackles and interceptions per game which is a very handsome defensive metric indeed or return for the said defensive metric and he's not just about stopping balls and getting stuck in either he maintains an 88 percent passing accuracy which is really really important for this chelsea team looks like he could basically slot in rather comfortably he can get up and down well he can combine well in the final third which is of course very important but also in the Premier League, he's defensively sound. It won't be people getting in behind Marcus Alonso anymore. It could be an excellent purchase for what is a very reasonable stated quote. Now, Chelsea have already got a relationship with Ajax. They've obviously agreed the transfer of Hakim Ziyech and they've been in conversation for a long time. Maybe Ziyech can get in Tagliafico's ear and be like, look man, switch the play, the ball up to me at Stamford Bridge, we'll combine and play to glory. It could happen. It looks rather promising. Of course, I'll keep you updated on this story here on Football Therapy, provided you swing by daily. Right, let's talk goalkeepers, man. Let's talk the final story of today's Chelsea News video, and that is Swiss 29-year-old goalkeeper of Dortmund, Roman Berkey. Roman is a very good goalkeeper. He's an excellent shot stopper, but upon a closer inspection, online i must admit his weaknesses are apparently long passing which you know people like a player who can or a goalkeeper who can pass long diagonal balls but the fact remains chelsea play out from the back so provided his short passing is good which apparently it is the most important thing is he's a good shot stopper with good reflexes and roman burkey is exactly that now, the news reports today are linking Chelsea with the Swiss goalkeeper. He's a good senior player. Frank Lampard is not afraid to play slightly older players in goal. And the most important part of this news story is he's only got one year left on his deal at Dortmund. And Chelsea could apparently secure him for £15 million. From £72 million for Kepa to £15 million pounds for Roman Berkey. That would be a jump in goalkeeper acquisition price, wouldn't it? In 25 games this season, Roman Berkey's kept 10 clean sheets. And obviously, playing in Dortmund, they're a team that likes to combine a lot, a lot of direct, quick football, quick in transition. Kind of a lot like what Frank Lampard wants to do. And to be honest, it sounds like it could be a really good deal. This is one of those situations that if Frank Lampard genuinely is in for another goalkeeper and his mind is made up, Maybe Chelsea can't get every single player from Ajax with Ziyech, maybe Tagliafico, and maybe Andre or Nana. If they're like, all right, we'll take two, keep your goalkeeper, mate. <laughs> we'll take Roman Berkey from Dortmund. We'll give them 15 million pounds in a difficult financial market for a player who's only got 12 months left on his deal. Everybody could win. Imagine if Chelsea buy a really good left back for 22 million and a goalkeeper for 15 million. What's that, 37 million for two important positions for Frank Lampard? Not bad at all. Now, it's really important that I offer my um, disclaimer like I often do. I'm not saying Kepper out. If you watch Football Therapy and you know my stance on this, you will know that I maintain that Kepo is a talented goalkeeper, but I don't necessarily feel 100% safe with him in goal because his form might drop or he might pull out an amazing save. You just don't know. Really, it's up to the gaffer, Frank Lampard, if he wants a new goalkeeper. I won't cry too much if Chelsea spend an extra £15 million and get a senior goalkeeper in the shape of Roman Berkey with a lot of top flight and Champions League experience. Anyway, what do you guys think of these three massive news stories that I've spoken about today? Timo Werner not going to Liverpool, at least for this summer. Is he just going to wait it out and eventually go there for cheaper? Let me know your thoughts on that. Nicola Tagliafico, is he the answer to our left-back woes? Please express yourself in the comment section below regarding that too. And finally, Roman Berkey, what do you think, man? Are you in? Are you out? Are you Kepa in? Are you Kepa out? Let me know, express yourselves down below, and if you've enjoyed the content I've brought to you guys today, I'd urge you to like the video, and of course, subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the experience. 
Follow me on socials at Football Yannick. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that should be starting soon, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby